Today's video is all about helping you to understand macros and how I have been successful at losing 21 pounds now, my friends, 21 pounds without suffering at all postmenopausal. Most of you know that I am 63 years old. I went through menopause when I was 57. And as the years have gone on, I have just accumulated all this belly fat and fat around my thighs, my butt, because I'm, I'm an endomorph. So that is where I gain all of my weight. And, and we, we all know that belly fat is a very dangerous area to accumulate an excessive amount of fat. I was at my wit's end and I thought, I'm just gonna continue to gain weight and then I'm gonna start to have all these health problems as I age and then I'm not gonna live to be 109 like I plan. So um, I really started searching around to find a website that would really, really help all of you. Now this website is probably the best that I have found. All right, so and I have been searching for a website that really helps us understand macros and what we need to do to figure out the correct macros for us. The site is Legions. This is it right here, legionathletics.com. When you open it up, you will see to the side here all of the calculators and now I am going to take you through them and show you how to use them and hopefully this will help get you all on your way. Okay, so for your TDEE -E calculator, it's gonna be on Imperial, you leave it. Female or male, I'm a female. Put in your weight, there's arrows for down, there's arrows for up. Put in your height. Put in your age. Your activity, be honest here, none. A little would be one to three hours. I do seven to nine hours a week. So, so here hard. it figures out your TDEE, my BMR. This is what I burn just laying down. This is what I burn with activity and laying down. So if you keep scrolling, it now has already figured out for me calories to lose weight. So if I wanna lose a half pound a week, I have to eat 1,818 calories. If I want to lose one pound a week, it would be 1,568 calories. If I want to lose two pounds a week, I would eat 1,068. And in case you are interested in gaining weight, it will also show you how to eat for gaining weight. So if you come back up here, what it has done, this is my calories I can eat to stay at the weight I'm at right now. But to get to my goal weight, I want to lose one pound per week. So now my calories for the weight that I am now, the weight, the calories that I'm eating, 1750, were for the weight I was. So now here, I can drop my calories down to 1,568. I'm not going to because I am almost at my goal weight. But what they do is it's about 25%. You would take this number and multiply it times 0.75, and that's how they came to this. You see this 87%, 75%, 51%. They're going by the amount of weight you want to lose. So if you wanted to lose it this way, that's the percentage. If you want to lose one pound, it's 75% of this number. So that's how they have figured that portion of it out. And then there are a lot of questions that they answer on here. Over to the side here, there's a BMI calculator. There's the one we just did here. There's the basal metabolic rate uh, calculator, 
which you can go ahead and put and it'll tell you this person here at 5'10", age 30, 180 pounds, female, the BMR is 1620. That's how many calories the body will burn at rest. So doing absolutely nothing. But if you exercise, you can just scroll down here. I do nine hours of exercise a week. So uh, this person, if she did the exercise that I was doing for her BMR, this is the calories she could take in and not gain weight. Now, if she wanted to lose weight, she would do this times 0.75, and that would put her in a calorie deficit and come up with the new calories that she could be eating, okay? Now, if you go over here, they also have your macronutrient calculator. So you would click on that, it would open it up, you have imperial, which you're going to leave it at, male or female, and then of course your weight, your height, your age, and then click here and answer this truthfully, don't fudge it, and just say, I don't exercise at all, or I exercise one to three hours, four to six hours, seven to nine. This person exercises for four to six hours, so then that would be put in, and then you just leave this, and then you can also choose how you want to lose your weight. Do you wanna lose rapid? Do you wanna lose moderate, slow? Do you wanna maintain your weight? Do you wanna lose, a, do you want a slow weight gain? So you can choose whatever you want. So if you're trying to lose weight, make sure you stay up here. Don't go down here because that is to gain weight. So stay up here and this person wants to lose rapid. So they go ahead and put that in. So now, you can also choose on this website, I wanna do it with a balanced diet, meaning nothing is off limits. Or you can, so if, if they chose a balanced diet, they would take in 1,679 calories to lose weight. Their macros are already broken down for them. So the protein would be 168 grams a day, carbs 126, and fat, 56. Now so let's talk about the macro calories. So for protein. Your protein is four calories per gram. So 168 times four, because there's four calories in protein per gram, you need to take in 168 grams. You're going to multiply that times four and you will come up with your total calorie that you need to eat in protein. So if it's 100, you would need to eat 400 calories a day of protein. So now you go down to your carbs. Carbs have four calories per gram. So you would multiply whatever your grams are that you need to take in for the day times four. Fat is different. It has more calories, nine calories per gram. So 56 times nine. And that will tell you how many of your calories from this have to be in protein and carb and fat. Now, you can also go right over here and say, well, I wanna do it in a low carb way. It will change the stats. The calories stay the same, but the protein intake, the carb and the fat will change. And again, you just multiply the protein times four, the carbs times four, and the fat times nine. And that will give you, it'll break it down for you how many calories you need to eat in protein. I do everything in grams, and I use my fit my fitness pail, but the everyone says that the chron, chronometer is just the same, only it's free. So you might wanna look that one up and get that app on your phone and use that for uh, scanning and building up your library of food. All right, so now if you're a high carb person, you can change it to high carbs, it'll change everything for you. If you are more about high protein, it'll change and it'll take your protein up for you, it'll level out your carbs and this will be all according to your BMR and your total daily energy expenditure, so your TDEE. -E. If you wanna do it a ketogenic way, it will, your calories always remain the same, but it will change everything as far as your protein, carbs, and fat. 
And then there is a custom one here, but I don't really know how to do that one, so I can't really help you with that. But I just stayed with a balanced. So that is pretty much how you can use this site to really help you understand your BMR, your TDEE, -E, and it will also figure out your macros for you by inputting the information you take from these two. All right, so I hope this helps you guys. This I have found to be the best site. It breaks it down so you can truly understand what you're doing here, okay? So give it a try. And remember, you can do it balanced, low carb, high carb, high protein, ketogenic, and you'll find that in the macronutrient calculator. But first figure out your BMR and your TDEE. -E. It has other calculators here. You can just play around with it and learn about all of them if you want. Uh, and it also has your BMI for women or men if you're interested in any of that and just go from there. But the most important thing to do first is to figure out your BMR and your TDEE -E, and then you can go ahead and put all that information in and it will give you your um, macros. It'll break it all down for you. So this should make it easy and you should all start losing that stubborn menopause belly fat. Breaks it down a little bit for you. Do everything by a calculator. Don't try to figure it out in your head. And um, this site here seemed to be the most thorough to me. Again, you can check your body mass index here. You can do your totally your total daily uh, energy expenditure, your basal metabolic rate, your weight loss calculator. There's a body fat percentage calculator. There are a ton of calculators on this site and I think that it's very, very user friendly and easy. So go and find out what your BMR is, your TDEE, -E. then it will give you your, cal your BMR gives you how many calories your body just burns on its own, and then your activity levels that all incorporates into how much your body is burning. I burn about 2,100 calories a day. So if I'm eating 1,750, I'm in a calorie deficit, and I exercise every single day. I don't lift weights on Sunday, but I do walk for an hour. Now I burn less calories on that day than I do uh, when I'm doing my weightlifting and walking. So, but I don't really fudge with my grams or anything like that because I'm eating less. I don't worry about my calorie intake. I just eat accordingly and I don't go over my calories ever because I'm not pigging out on things. I don't have a cheat meal because I don't have to think that way because I'm allowed to eat whatever I want. I my like parfait the other day. My parfait consisted of Greek yogurt, a full serving. It had, um, I can't remember the grams. I think it was like 150 grams of strawberries. And then I had a couple grams of frozen fruit just to add some juice in there, berries, uh, blackberry uh, and blueberries. And then I ordered this peanut butter that I saw on Instagram and it's called peppermint chocolate twist or something, I don't know. It's a peanut butter, it has peppermint candies in it and Oreo cookies. I measured out the grams and I sprinkled that over it and I use Elizabeth's granola because it has less sugar, but I used the chocolate sea salt on it and I measured it out in grams and it looks like, oh my goodness, that's not even any granola, but it, it's very satisfying and it, it did not take me out and I'm still losing weight and I'm eating things I enjoy. You don't have to give up anything. Of course you want to 80% of the time be eating whole foods. You know, I made a Big Mac salad last night. It really didn't agree with me. Um, I'm trying very hard to eat like even hamburger and it didn't agree with me. It upset my stomach, but Lou said it was fabulous. But I made a, it was a Big Mac salad. I, I, it was a recipe I saw from somebody I follow and it, all it was was lettuce. I weigh my lettuce out. Lettuce upsets my stomach, so I don't eat a lot of lettuce anymore. And, but I tried it again last night and I did. I had like really bad reflux and just, it really upsets my belly. So I had lettuce, I, weigh, I weighed out the grams of hamburger and uh, it had some onion in it, garlic powder, mustard, 
powder and uh, onion powder and then chopped onions and you just kind of saute that all together and then I put some chopped tomatoes on it I put chopped dill pickles on it and then I made a special sauce you know um, two uh, all beef patty special sauce lettuce pickles onions on a sesame seed bun remember that song when we were little <laughs> But anyway, I made it just like a Big Mac, but at home. And Lou said, Tammy, this is so good. And it, the special sauce was nothing but sugar-free ketchup and um, sugar-free mayonnaise. The only sugar-free mayonnaise, which it's still not healthy, but you got to live, people. You got to live. The sugar-free mayonnaise is Duke's. And I, I prefer Hellman's, but it's got sugar in it, and Louis can't eat sugar. So I buy the Duke's because it's sugar-free. And you just make this special sauce that has a little pickle juice, some pickles in it, and a mix of ketchup and uh, mayonnaise. And I stirred it together. Uh, you can, can use a Thousand Island dressing, but uh, I don't really like Thousand Island dressing. So I made my own special sauce from the recipe and just drizzled it all over the top. And then I measured out 28 grams of cheese, and it just didn't, it did not agree with me, but it did taste good, but it did not agree with me. So I won't make that again, but here I am getting on the scale this morning, and I'm down like four tenths of a pound. So this is working, and um, it really, now I will go into maintenance soon, because I have no desire to uh, be super skinny. I have no desire for that. This was not about me getting so skinny that I could wear whatever. This is about my health. And um, my health is more important to me than what somebody looking at me thinks of my body. Uh, we have to get past that. We really do. Because when, when you age, you want quality of life. And the only thing that's going to give us quality of life is our health. And you may be a size 10 and be a very healthy person. So don't get hung up on the size of your clothing. Say you were a size 20 and you become a size 14 doing this. That is fabulous, my friends. That is fabulous. It's healthy. Your bones will thank you, everything. And you will feel better about yourself. So for me, I actually have two pounds until I'm at goal weight. And then once I hit my goal weight, you know, I, I thought about, well, do I want to go five pounds lighter than my goal weight so I have that to play with? I'm finding that I don't have to worry about that, my friends. I don't have to worry about it. And Christmas is coming. I know so many of you say to me, how are you getting through the holidays? I want to do this so bad, but I'm going to wait till after the holidays are over. Better late than never, my friends. That's what I say. If you need to get through the holidays and then go for it, go for it. All right, my friends. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have some questions that I can answer, I will definitely answer them. Remember, this has all been a learning process for me as well. And it did not, I, I read, I researched so many different sites that actually confused me more. And now that I think about the first site that I saw, the girl helped me to understand. And actually what she told me was different from what a nutritionist will tell you about goal weight and actual weight. Because when she said, do your goal weight, she all she did was help me get to my calorie deficit. Because figuring everything out this way, it came out to the exact same thing. I needed 1,700 calories to be in a calorie deficit. So she was right. But this, I think, really goes into the detail. I think it really helps you that you're allowed to pick if you are vegetarian, if you are keto already, or if you want a balanced diet. I went with the balanced diet because you know I'm going to have french fry at some point in my life. You know it. <laughs> that was the one thing about the Big Mac salad. It did call to have french fries on the top of it. And I was so mad that I didn't have any, friend, any potatoes to make french fries. <laughs> so anyway, all right, my friends, I hope I haven't confused you further. Again, this site will help you. It will put you on the right track. It truly will, my friends. All right? So if you so, have any questions, put them below. Uh, do you want to see more What I Eat in a Day videos? Do you want me to keep doing videos like this, my journey? I, uh, I know a lot of you want to see my exercise. So if 
the gym slows down. Right now the gym is a little bit busy. I don't feel right having my camera recording when there's people around me. So I, I'm, it actually kind of embarrasses me myself. So let me know if this is of interest. I would love to really help you all on your journey to health. And I'm not an expert on anything. I really am not, but this is something that I wanted so badly for myself. My health means everything to me. It truly does. And again, I'm gonna go back to the 80-20 rule. It does not mean that I am going to live an angelic life when it comes to food. I am going to eat a chemical or two. So for me, it is 80-20. Good, 20% the devil sitting on my shoulder. <laughs> All, All right, right, my friends, if you haven't already subscribed, I would love to have you as an ageless beauty. Perhaps you'd love to go on this fat loss, weight loss, lifestyle change with us. We love having you. Love when you communicate with each other below the video, when you say what has worked for you. And again, again let's be kind to one another. If someone chooses to live a different lifestyle than you, that's okay. It has nothing to do with you. It really doesn't. If someone wants to eat all prepared packaged foods and they are successful at losing fat, that's their journey to take. I do it a different way and someone else will do it their way. But if they're successful and they feel good about themselves, that is all that matters. All right, my friends, don't forget, Hit that subscribe button. The bell lets you know of all the videos that I'm putting up. Until the next time, my friends, you go out, you be lovable, and remember, it is okay to love our age.